Welcome everyone. So this is Daily Motion's homepage in the PlayStation 3 browser, and um, today it defaulted to the feed view, uh, which um, I don't think looks as good as the media view. So let's switch back to the media view, which is the middle button here. And that's the possibly the more recognizable view. So let's just allow that to load up, which uh, looks spot on in the uh, the PlayStation 3 browser. So let's uh, go to the movie section and uh, let's try playing uh, the Thor trailer here. I just happen to have a, a free ticket to go and see that uh, when it comes out. Um, now what I recommend um, when watching videos is to load the video in a separate window because that allows you to then uh, close the video window and return to the main one so you can watch another video so to do that all you have to do is just long press the video link uh, hold down X or enter so let's do that and allow that to load up Now, um, of course, if you've tried this previously, um, you'll have got the message about the Adobe Flash Player because the PS3 one's um, somewhat out of date. So this is where the PlayStation 3 bookmarklet comes in handy, of course. So let's select that uh, from the bookmarks list. OK, and then down on the D-pad and X or Enter to switch to full screen. Okay, so let's pause it there. So you should find in the quality, uh, the default quality the bookmarklet selects, uh, the videos play quite nicely. Um, I Let's zoom in here actually. Um, the quality selector, I do allow you to also select um, say 720p, but you'll find uh, that doesn't work particularly well. Um, but you can download the videos in that quality if you like um, and to do that you just position the cursor on the quality you want and you press triangle cursor to file cursor right and cursor down to save target and press X or enter and you can see that would have allowed me to I'm going to cancel that uh, download that um, the, for this this particular video doesn't have 1080p but again you could uh, download in that uh, quality if it was available. Now if you're using the PS3 remote you have a few nice extra features here where um, using the uh, the video type buttons you can uh, like replay a scene for example. Um, if you press the, the left uh, step button, that jumps uh, two seconds back in the video. So if I demonstrate that. And again. Okay. And of course you can just, if you need to go back a bit further, you can just press that a few times. Um, and then if you use the, um, the scan left or right buttons, uh, that jumps uh, back or forward 5% of the duration of the video. So um, let's say if I, I jump ahead, uh, press the forward button, and again, and then if I go back, let's pause that. Um, so. Uh, 
that works uh, rather well. The stop button on the remote and on the player, um, that will actually um, stop the buffering of the video. So if you're just interested in downloading it, uh, you might be able to improve download performance by uh, pressing the stop button. So to close the uh, video window, you just hold down the circle button. So let me demonstrate that. And then you could, of course, uh, load another window. So say if I wanted to watch the, the planes uh, trailer there, I would just hold down X or enter. And you could then watch that. Um, of course, wait for the the page to fully load the the animation in the top right uh, corner to disappear. And then once it has, you just use the bookmark lid again. So down on the D-pad and X or Enter to switch to full screen. Okay, let's leave that now, um, and let's have a look at uh, Giant Bomb. So let me select that from my bookmarks. And typically, they have a, a video, um, usually a first look, I believe, on the homepage. So let's just try and uh, play that just to demonstrate that doesn't work. If I can get to the play button with the remote. See, there you go. When you do that, nothing happens. So let's select the bookmark it again. And let's go full screen. Okay, let's pause that. That's looking fine. And let's just zoom in here on the quality selector. So, uh, with Giant Bomb, they use um, their 360p is like a relatively high uh, bit rate um, and is comparable to 480p on YouTube. Um, again, 720p is a bit too much for the PS3 browser but uh, you can of course use that link to uh, download together with the the high bit rate uh, 4 plus megabits per second uh, 720p version there shown in red uh, and let's just demonstrate this on a, 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 an actual video so if I uh, let's click this uh, video here I actually load it on this page for a change. Let's allow that to fully load up. What I was trying to avoid there was have two video players in memory at the same time because that might cause issues with the, the browser. Um, press, stopping buffering, you know, by pressing the stop button might might have helped there, but anyway. So let's now select the bookmark clear again. And go to full screen. Okay, let's pause that, so that's looking good. Right, uh, well that's Giant Bomb. Uh, now let's go to NeoGAF. Um, so if I select my uh, bookmark for that. Now if you've tried uh, NeoGAF, you will of course have noticed um, it 
switches to the mobile version of the site which is rather basic um, so what you need to do is um, to use it with the bookmarklet turn off JavaScript when loading the NeoGAF pages so let's do that if I go tools so it's triangle tools JavaScript off and then reselect my bookmark so there's the more familiar uh, desktop view um, and um, as a matter of interest so the reason why the images I uh, see the that should be the NeoGAF logo aren't working is because um, they're now using a scalable vector graphics image for their uh, background sprite image um, which the PlayStation 3 browser can't quite handle um, and in fact I have to swap that out for a, a PNG image to get that to work properly so let's turn JavaScript back on and select the bookmarklet so like with the Wikipedia uh, plugin I uh, switch to full screen mode and increase the font sizes so you, you don't need to use uh, zoom at all um, so when you want to actually uh, view a thread um, you'll want to turn JavaScript off and I recommend you load the thread in a separate window um, so then you can come back to the thread list and um, view another thread so uh, without having to reuse the bookmarklet so let's just pick any thread here so if I long press that one ah some nice images now let's see if this is gonna hopefully this won't overload the browser no nope, that looks okay so tools JavaScript back on and select the bookmark it again So you see that I uh, not only in double the size of the avatar images on the left, but the inline images too. So they look fantastic on a uh, HD TV. Let's come down here. That's a bit plain that one, but <laughs> you get the idea. And today I've made a few tweaks. Um, the quoted images like that one there, um, I was increasing the width, but I had to adjust a style so then the height was uh, as it should be. Now, um, when you want to go to the next page, you have to, of course, remember to ja turn JavaScript off. Now, if you forget to do that, I, I've inserted a prompt to remind you, so you can see it gives you the chance to actually uh, abort that. So let's click yes to cancel that, and then tools JavaScript off, and then re-click that link. Again, allow the page to fully load. Um, I, I've only got like a, a three megabit per second internet connection, so. Um, you'll ho hopefully find the pages load quite a bit quicker um, in, in your browser okay yeah I'm not sure what, what that was trying to load um, so let's uh, oh, turn JavaScript back on and reselect the bookmarklet. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if a thread has um, a large number of images or lots of GIFs, then um, that might give the, the PS3 browser trouble. Um, and in fact you, you should avoid threads that are pretty much images only like there's a high res PC uh, thread I believe that uh, you'll want to avoid so let's uh, 
close this trade by long pressing circle and uh, trying to load another one. Um, when you come back to the thread list, um, you may find it's initially in, um, it hasn't reverted to full screen and to, to do that you just need to press any button on the D-pad. So let's just try uh, this thread will do. So tools JavaScript off and long press the thread link and tools JavaScript on and select the bookmarklet. Okay, well I hope you like these new plugins for the PS3 bookmarklet. Uh, bye for now.